वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ दिस लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट फ्रंट व्यू एंड टॉप व्यू ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट एंड इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर वी विल प्लॉट दोज व्यूज ऑन द ग्रिड शीट एंड वी नो वी हैव टू प्लॉट दिस इन द फर्स्ट एंगल ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन सो दैट मीन्स आफ्टर ड्रॉइंग अ लाइन ऑफ अराउंड फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर्स एज अ रेफरेंस लाइन वी विल लेबल वी पी अबव रेफरेंस लाइन एंड एच पी बिलो द रेफरेंस लाइन एंड लेबल बोथ द एंडस as capital x and capital y now in this case uh, the height of the object is 70 mm so above reference line we need around 100 mm space and the width of the object is 90 mm so below the reference line we need around 110 mm space so you should plan your space on the paper carefully so i have uh, sketched the front and top in uh, continuous thin lines uh, in order to save the time of this video so that when i will explain you the for me there will be no need to measure the dimensions again so with with that i can save the time of this video so in the previous lecture we have learned that uh, in the front view we have to start with this face first and from this corner and from this uh, corner sketch a length of 90 mm so what we will do from the reference line we will leave around 1 one, one row gap or 10 mm gap and we will align our scale with the, this row and we will sketch a length of 90 mm and it must be continuous thick now after that we need to draw this height of 70 mm so from this end align your scale carefully in vertical position and sketch a length of 70 sketch a height of 70 mm and from this end we will have to sketch a length of 30 mm so align your scale over here and with continuous thin line thick line sketch 30 mm then after that this distance is 40 that we have concluded in the previous lecture so from that point draw a thick line of 40 mm then from this point we have to draw the remaining length as 60 mm must be continuous thick then we will join these points to get the drawing of the first face so we are ready with face a now let us plot this face b in the lecture we have concluded the height of the face b will be 40 mm and we will start from this corner means from this corner we will sketch its height as 40 mm and the length is 30 so from here draw 30 mm then we will sketch this height and we'll complete the face so we are ready with face b as well now let us plot face e which is a hidden face and uh, for that we have to start from this corner this is behind this one so from this corner we will measure how much 25 mm so from this corner we will measure 25 mm measure from other end also then we will line our scale with these two points i will sketch dash medium line carefully so 3 mm approx 1.5 gap 3 mm 1.5 gap and we have to draw it carefully and it will be medium then after that we will sketch face k and we know for face k height will be 15 and we will start from this corner so from this corner measure 15 mm mark a point then from this end also measure 15 mm mark a point then we will align those two points to sketch dash medium line again 3 mm 1.5 gap 3 mm so this pattern you should adopt 1.5 gap 3 mm you have to draw it carefully and it will be medium initially you can exactly measure from the scale but after practicing one or two drawings 
you will get a habit of drawing without the scale so we are ready with the front view of the object now we will draw its top view <coughs> okay now we will draw projection lines so align your scale with uh, these lengths and uh, draw continuous thin lines in downward direction and these must be parallel to each other and perpendicular to plane of projection and these must be thin so these must be perpendicular to the reference line and parallel to each other so these must be continuous thin now after that what we will do we will uh, sketch this phase that we have learned in the previous lecture and uh, for this phase we need to start from this point and we have to locate this point and we have located that this point is behind this point so this point in the front view is over here it means we will select this projector which comes from that point and on that projector we will mark one point after leaving one row gap and from that point we will start its drawing so length is 30 and width is 30 so from this point draw its length as 30 millimeters and from here draw 30 millimeters width from that point and we will complete the face from here we will again draw 30 millimeter width and we will connect these two points to get the face now initially we will plot face by face but when you will solve uh, three four problems then you will get a habit of drawing all the faces in one time only like uh, if i have to plot these three faces i know that these three faces are in line and the total width of these faces is 90 so what can i do i can sketch directly from here a line of 90 millimeters fine then from here also again i will sketch a line of 90 millimeters then i will connect these two points so what i did i made the boundary of these three faces <coughs> now within this boundary i can plot these three faces so we know that for this face from this edge it is 30 so from this edge we will measure 30 millimeters from here 30 millimeters from here and we will plot its length so you can see all the three faces are represented now next is face i and we will start from this corner this is below this one it means we will start from drawing we will start our drawing from this point so from this point we will draw thick line of 30 then from this point draw thick line of 30 and connect these two points then we will get our next phase that is phase i now after that we have to plot b so we will start from this point this is shared by i so this point is here so its length is how much 30 so from this point draw a length of 30 millimeters carefully and from here again draw 30 millimeter length and we'll draw the width of this face by joining these two points So you can see we are ready with the the visible faces now we have to plot the uh, hidden faces face k and face l and in the lecture we learned in order to plot face k we need to draw two dash medium lines one will be at 25 from the back another will be 15 from back so let us plot this line first so from back we will measure 15 millimeter 25 millimeters first mark a point and from this side also mark a point it will help us to line our scale now line your scale with the, these two points and we will sketch dash medium line carefully 3 1.5 gap so for this line you need patience don't draw it in hurry So we are ready with this line. Now plot the second edge of face K. It is at 15 from back. So from here, measure 15. 
then from this end measure 15 again and align these two points and again draw dash medium line 3 mm length 1.5 gap prox and it must be medium now for face L we have to adopt similar method means from front side from front we will measure 25 Then from this side also measure 25 from front. Then align with these two points and sketch dash medium line again. 3, 1.5 gap. Then plot the second line at 15, this edge is at 15 that we have concluded in the lecture. Line with these two points now. So remember 3 millimeters 1.5 gap prox so now you can see we are ready with the top of the object as well now we will place dimensions so let us first place its width dimension so total width is given to us as 90 so leave 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line so from here again leave 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line this is around 30 millimeters I left. So vertical dimension line it must be thin. Then add close filled arrows on both sides. And we'll mention the value here in Gothic style. We will mention 90. Okay, we were saying that uh, this total is 90 and it consists of three dimensions so if we will place this dimension in the mid so we can save other two dimensions so we can say 90 minus 30 divided by 2 so these are also 30 each so from here 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line from here 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line and place this dimension line so add close fill words carefully and in gothic style we will write 30 so after that we will look for remaining width dimensions yes we have to place 25 15 so that we can place here this side 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line from here 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line then from this dimension line 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line so this is around 20 millimeters so over here i can place the dimension line and i will write it as how much it is 25 then leave 10 millimeter gap draw the second dimension line add close full words carefully then we will add 15 in gothic style then after that we will place the same dimensions on this side 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line from here 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line then from this line as well 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line then we will place this dimension first see I have aligned with the upper dimension so that it should be in line it will look good then add closed fill words on both sides so this is 25 
align with this upper dimension this one so now add 15 here so we are ready with all the width dimensions so let us plot height dimensions so from here uh, sketch extension line by leaving one millimeter gap continuous thin line so from here as well one millimeter gap continuous thin line and uh, add dimension line here continuous thin line and add close field arrow heads on both sides carefully in 3 ratio 1 then we will mention over here its height, height is 70. So after that we will place remaining dimensions. So this is how much? This is given to us as 25. This is how much? This is 15 from bottom. So we have to place both. So draw one line at the top and another at the bottom. Continuous thin line. So now we will add arrowheads on both sides in 3 ratio 1. So we will mention this is how much? This is 25. Then over here we will mention it is 15. So we are ready with the high dimensions this side. So this dimension we have to place over here that this is also 30. So leave around 10 millimeters gap and dimension line. And one very important point we have to understand over here. Let me place this dimension first. It is 30. So what is that point? That uh, extension line should not exceed 3 to 4 millimeters beyond the arrowhead. Right? That you should erase. So this should be around 3 to 4 millimeters only. So we are ready with the height dimensions. Now let us place the length dimensions. So you can see below the grid, uh, below the reference line I don't have space to place the length dimension. So I will accommodate here. So let us place first full length. 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line so over here I can place full length as 90 in gothic style we will add 90 so this must be around 3 to 4 millimeters only then just place the middle dimension it is how much 30 okay now you can see we are ready with all the length dimensions as well. So at the bottom we will provide note that all dimensions. So I will write dimension DIM only in order to save time. R in mm so try to maintain the ratio and we will underline it so this is the final answer i hope the drawing is clear to you thank you very much